that the number of unaccompanied children showing up at the border is the highest they have been since December of last year. Allie Bradley is live in Arizona this morning with more uh, on this story, those updates. Allie, good morning. Yeah, hi, good morning, Marky. We're talking about a 73% increase in children who are showing up at the southern border without any adults. That is up from June, according to federal statistics. Now, in an effort to be more transparent, the Biden administration has been sending out daily data of unaccompanied children. They've been doing that every day since February, with the exception of some holidays. And then the reporting just stopped on August 11th. We didn't see any figures for 12 days. Well, that data just started back up again. And what we're seeing is that it shows more than 10,000 unaccompanied children in HHS Office of Refugee Resettlement custody right now. One month ago, however, there were only a little more than 7,000 children in custody. And something else we're seeing more of, discarded documents over in Mexico. And agents are telling me that migrants continue to ditch their papers because they may have some kind of criminal history or they believe having no documentation gives them a better chance at being granted asylum. Here's the thing, those documents show that they had some kind of stability or they were safe, which could decrease their chances of being admitted into the U.S. Now, among those discarded documents, I found these Brazilian passports passports belonging to three children, two boys and a little girl, ages 14, 12, and 5. They do appear to be siblings based on the names on their passports. And as we learned during the congressional hearing with HHS Secretary Becerra, DNA testing isn't mandatory. So that documentation that they had to prove who they are or that they're related was left back in Mexico. And the director of ASU's Office of Sex Trafficking Intervention Research says while families are desperate and are getting the message to send their kids over now, it is all incredibly organized. There's a, a network, right? I mean, that child didn't sit in the desert waiting for mom to land somewhere. I mean, it really talks about the desperation of people to me that they're 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 trying so hard to find a way to the freedom in the United States that they're desperate for their children to have a better life. The fact that of putting a child in the desert with a note card, a, a tiny little person with no defenses is is really heartbreaking. And she says those documents really are their entire identity, right? Those parents are giving up those children's rights to their name, their country, any kind of identification. Now, when it comes to those children, Adrian, that are being documented here through HHS, they are mostly from the Northern Triangle. We're talking about Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Now, of course, you know I did my due diligence. I've been reaching out to HHS multiple times, at least five in the last two weeks. I have not gotten a single response, Adrian, when it comes to these unaccompanied children. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.